The Honourable Member for Edmonton Strathcona. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I just spoke with Tanya Capo. Tanya Capo is a First Nation mother and lawyer who is working on residential school settlements. Her observation that she had wanted to share today in the House, and it's a very good one because she's been working uh, with women trying to get action on missing and murdered Aboriginal women for quite some time. She's concerned that the government remains far too focused on domestic violence within First Nation communities. And she shared with me, Mr. Speaker, yes, domestic abuse occurs in First Nation communities like all Canadian communities. But in her view and those of her colleagues, the root causes go far beyond family domestic violence. She has two questions that she would like me to put today. The first to the government is, why either an inquiry or action? Why can't they occur simultaneously? And secondly, what are the actual indicators or measurements that the government is using and evaluating on whether or not their action plan is going to reduce the incidence of missing and murdered Aboriginal women and the detection of those lost women. Honourable Parliament Secretary to the Minister of Aboriginal Affairs and Northern Development. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, and I would like to, to thank that individual for, for her question. Um, I guess my question back to the opposition is they keep saying, why can't we study more and why can't we take action? But, Mr. Speaker, they always vote against the action. Every time they're presented with an opportunity to improve the lives of First Nations on reserve, they vote against it. Whether it's protecting Aboriginal women on reserve through the family and matrimonial property rights, they vote against that. All of our investments in infrastructure, they vote against that. Mr. Speaker, we are taking action, and they want more studies, more talk. Why won't they support the action part of the, of the action plan instead of voting against it all the time, Mr. Speaker. 